about applications in terms of the next generation and smart life. And with that, I'd like to welcome Mr. Asami, the Executive Vice President Managing Director of Smart Life Business Division at NTP Docomo. Welcome, please. In Japanese, that I'd like to uh, present. Today, NTT Docomo's Smart Life Partner, the concept we have will be explained. So thank you for your time. For, your, for your information, NTT Docomo's scale in Japan. This is what it shows. Roughly speaking, now PHS included about 140 million mobile users they have. And that breakdown would be that NTT Docomo has 44% share. So NTT Docomo has the biggest share as an operator in Japan. Uh, iMode came up uh, a bit earlier, but for NTT Docomo, 1992 iMode service end. And here we are today, and uh, among us those time, network wise, 2G to 3G, and now LTE has been uh, launched. In that sense, smartphone and LT, the combination of the two has been extremely unique. So as it shows on the top of this graph, it says the smartphone uh, stage three, uh, that would be LTE, but they're in the same color in red. That's uh, what you, I want you to pay attention to. So smartphone and LT, in fact, what had happened with the two is that initially, since before, many services have been provided uh, with mobile. Obviously, the feet, uh, in addition to feature phone, desktop PCs, notebook PCs, we had, of course, many uh, feasibility had been studied. And in either case, the screen was small, it was not portable, it was not, uh, charging was not well uh, done. They had pros and cons, of course, so that it there was not ice breaking matter uh, considering all that. But uh, thanks to smartphone, now LT's uh, advent, advent coming together because of those two have resolved those uh, uh, challenges. Now expanding the upper layer is what we're seeing now. In that sense, the videos and shopping e-commerce, I mean, and uh, web book, online books. Are the areas which are seeing a fast uh, penetration. This is explaining about the dam water. This is what I have, but videos and books, e-commerce, we had markets, you had PCs, so uh, P feature phones you used in the past, but smartphone and tablet, meaning the LT high-speed network has uh, speeded up, as it's going to be speeding up drastically. So we are already seeing the tendency as we speak. Obviously, in that sense, the customers' uh, issues, value-added consciousness, their expectations are shifting. So this page, OK, it was a phone that you just uh, needed a voice. And then iMode came, with the content platform came in. So internet access became available. That's a, a shift we saw. But now we're seeing even more of the shift closer to your life or useful to your life or something essential in your life is what mobile is becoming to be. And behind, uh, so network in the other side, network expectations on the other hand, the way the expectation is getting more and more, meaning network uh, failure or incidents, impacts are becoming larger. 
So the customers, on the other hand, is hoping that there's some uh, network availability, like air. Reliability is an assumption that they have in order to enjoy the upper layer services. So Docomo, amongst all that circumstance, as to where we're heading, our business asset. Three of them I'm going to introduce you to. So the very left. In fact, Japan is a country where the customer pays a, a communication fee. It's post-paid. So it's an, uh, post-paid. It's extremely, OK, if you want to do something, it brings a new big impact. In the middle, we have about 2,400 2, carrier shops we have all over Japan. In that sense, we are mobile carrier uh, operators, but we have close uh, distance with our customers, which is quite important. On the very right, next. Docomo is a mobile uh, phone or smartphone seller. So in that sense, our service icons are provided on top of the, the phones. To begin with, that's the strength for us. So with those assets, in terms of we have there are many global OTT players as to we are trying to see who are close to us. Very top, as you know, is a Google, Facebook, search engine, SNS players. Major, uh, they have a large customers, about 2 billion uh, customers they have. For example, that's a Facebook. On the other hand, shopping Amazon.com players with 1 billion customers are not, maybe not that many. So in that sense, we have many players. But there's one thing to focus on. On your very right, quality of profile are quite different if you compare those nicknames, password ID level, uh, uh, customer authentication to provide the services. That's the upper layer. ECs, on the other hand, would be that you make an order and the product has to be delivered to your house. So address, full name, payment method has to be uh, communicated. In that sense, accuracy becomes accurate customers. Information will be the uh, profile. So the differences here will be important. So Docomo, in the, as I said, is a post-paid company. So we, see, we are an operator in terms of mobile operator-wise, but we have the same customers as the e-commerce providers. Those three points I have said uh, compared uh, together. I just want you to check the, see the weather signs here. Japan and South Korea, for example, postpaid uh, payment method, carrier uh, shop numbers, and mobile phone sets sold by the operators. We are close in that sense with South Korea. Globally speaking, it's not so well known as a benchmark. So Europe, uh, North America, and Asia, and Southern Asian countries, business environment or operators' assets are quite different when you compare with us. So in that sense, prepaid will be the main customers. Then on monthly, we get we don't, we don't get monthly fees. It's not like shopping that we get the money later. If we pay a prepaid uh, method, it's going to be different. So in that sense, if we want to operate on upper layer, it depends on what uh, business asset we have. So, uh, okay. In that sense, operators uh, have different environments. Since before, the voice uh, basic communication is where we started, iMod released after that, and then internet access became available. And after that, 
came that uh, mobile wallet. When you uh, scan with uh, a mobile, that real-time shopping became a possible. That's the lifetime support we started. And the customers go to many places or before they go to any place else. The train is stopped. The commute train is stopping then and they will be notified. Those agent features uh, were developed. So smartphone and LTE combination in red is supporting people's daily life now that there are more potentials in that sense. Now smart life is a keyword which is under our service strategy. In that sense, uh, you see uh, eight different areas here, but relatively, actually on the left-hand side, uh, media contents and commerce, video services, animation services, uh, quite a lot available. Actually, we have something called the D-Video, VOD services available. But actually, in Japan, there are 4.5 million customers and 500 yen per month. That is a monthly charge, and uh, they can see as much as they want. So such services are quite well reputated among them. And we provide shoppings, and so uh, we uh, put a focus in these uh, major aid areas. And relatively a great focus is put recently on healthcare education, so health-related an education related area is and is going to be important from now and uh, we uh, have tried to come up with various ideas around that so in terms of concept of Dogomo company there are two on the right and on the left from the customer point of view realization of smart life we have one policy for that and from a company viewpoint how to realize a smart life implementation partner so actually this is close to today's title so we have this the big two uh, subjects to tackle the shopping and video services and various parties are involved in these areas but the reason why the carriers are involved here necessity or uh, advantage uh, the next points as you see on the right hand side at the bottom that we have a solid mechanism where we are paid by the customers in other words charging mechanism and in addition to that icon of services that we provide uh, can be uh, provided uh, by being putting on uh, on a smartphone for carrier shops where real connection is made with our end users. So for us to do such upper layer services, if you look at ourselves, uh, actually we realize again that we have quite a lot of assets. That's what we have come to know after looking back in the past. So without these uh, green parts, uh, whether we uh, could have uh, taken such uh, a strategy is a question. So there should be some potentialities for the future in this sense. And this is also uh, what we have provided on our web page. So our expectation for our users to uh, find the usage in a device. Uh, please look at this short video. I'm going to have a lunch with somebody. It's a business lunch. I know. But the place has been changed. I'm wondering whether we can find a good restaurant around Aoyama, Tokyo. No. We checked six uh, possible uh, candidate restaurants in Aoyama. Oh, I have been here. Actually, this is what we have already provided called iConcierge. This is the actual current status. Uh, this restaurant is quite good. The uh, landscape is nice and the food is tasty. Actually, I have not come to Aoyama so often, so it just happened. I 
Actually, the sushi restaurant that we have been before was good. Uh -huh. So this is a translation service using smartphone. I I'm glad that you remembered that. I'm wondering who this person is. Actually, the restaurant in Tsukiji, he said, I need to remember who this gentleman is. I cannot remember. Well, actually, the currently available service cannot answer this question. This is an impressive scene. Actually, I'm a personal agent from future for Yugo. I'm a butler. And if cloud develops, for example, the image of the person that you have met in the past can be stored in the database. And regarding the person right in front of you, you can detect quickly where and when you met before. And for terminals, depending on the usage and the situation, it will be developed in an easy-to-use way. So let us do a time slip into the future just a little bit ahead and let's look at you go. Uh -huh, you're talking about Tsukiji restaurant, right? Thank you. I'm glad that you remembered that. I remember now. Uh -huh. Mr. Martin, you said that you would like to see Kabuki. It's a great butler for me. Thank you. Actually, uh, let's put aside whether you really would like to use this or not. But actually, feasible technology is what we have in mind in terms of thinking about the brushing up or refining that. That's what we constantly think about in our daily life. So just feasibility is not enough. For those who have a lower literacy on a day-to-day -day life, and in order for many such people to use, we still need to refine this. And for us to develop services from now, there are several key points. That is, probably just a standalone smartphone item cannot cover everything. For 10 plus years, Various things have come inside smartphone and mobile phone, a telephone book and a wallet and various things, GPS and everything. But maybe it is high time that we should see the limit on those. And not all people use all things. And also, something available for something dedicated and that is important for the end user particularly the side on the right wearable part and healthcare part when users wear that a new service can be developed actually sensor technology has rapidly jumped leaped recently so that's our big interest as well and particularly when we are having an aging society and such people wear these devices to manage their own health and from market point of view I am positive that that will develop uh, and grow uh, very much so in that sense wearable and health related services and functions uh, embrace expectations as devices and if you look back at the past 10 plus years, actually we had I mode and feature phone with the horizontal integration, so to say, we did what we wanted to do. But the various things came inside, and the concept of providing services on multi OS, that's what we launched out. And as you know, Android. And actually, last month we started to launch iPhone and also Tizen that we plan right now. 
The devices provided by a multiple vendors and OS players will be available, so so we can have customers choose what they want. But still, Docomo services will continue no matter what device they choose. So such environment is what we advocate. So that's a multi OS, and we experienced uh, in platform uh, uh, content ho ho holders were collected and a D menu was already implemented and like just like the video that you saw what Docomo ourselves provide uh, services a D market and those two can be provided in a similar way on all the devices in a multi OS environment in Android mobile phones and there are two D buttons as you see and uh, on iPhone as well, actually, some operations at shop are necessary, but still those two uh, these will appear. So end users will can see uh, two Ds on Android or on iPhone. It's easy to say all these things, but what uh, actually this is a value that our president requests to me. Actually, this year, uh, 700 uh, billion and uh, 2015, 11 billion yen should be the revenue for Docomo. So uh, we have presented uh, how um, Docomo is tackling a service expectation. Thank you very much. That's all my presentation.